what's going on? I'm Jake. Welcome back to Kill Robot. Today we are cooking farinata. Farinata is a chickpea pancake um, with just a small handful of ingredients, so it's incredibly simple to make. Uh, those ingredients, we've got chickpea flour, we've got water, salt, and extra virgin olive oil. And then you can also just top it with whatever you want uh, if you want to get fancy with it. I love this recipe. I stumbled across it a number of years ago and it's incredibly versatile regardless of the season. Um, but now that we're in summer, I'm doing a sort of first of the summer uh, tomato type of thing. Uh, way to just jump into this new Italian menu. And if you're new to the channel, up until this point, uh, for the last three months I've been cooking nothing but Mexican recipes. Um, but since it's a new month, our new season, we are going with the new menu altogether. And Italian food is what I grew up on, I've eaten a ton of it, so I thought it was high time just to start cooking a little bit of it for you. Uh, so let's stop talking, let's get cooking. This is a recipe for farinata con pomodori. Check it out. Alright, so I just ground up that entire bag of uh, Italian chickpeas. You can of course use whatever chickpea you want. Um, you can also just straight up get chickpea flour. I used to do that quite a lot. But this here has gotten incredibly fragrant and aromatic. So if you can, it's like an extra step. Um, if you've got a decent blender, just get some dried chickpeas and pulverize them. And it's gonna get like a much more flavorful product than uh, the stuff that's been ground however long ago in the, in the bags uh, that you're gonna get at the grocery store. So let's keep going with this recipe, huh? All right, so that came together pretty quickly, right? We had equal parts chickpea flour and water, whisked it all up, used a pretty generous amount of salt and um, you know, moderate amount of olive oil. Some folks use a little bit more than that, some less. Um, we're gonna use a little bit in the pan to cook it and then we're also gonna finish it with some more olive oil. So uh, just bear that in mind. All right, let's move over to the stove. That was me kicking a stepladder into a box of broken glass. <laughs> we, we broke something recently, put it in a box to dispose of it, and I kicked it. So that is what that sound was. Back to the recipe. Definitely lost the tomato. Um, I think it was worth it. <laughs> um, with the tomato though, um, one thing to note is I put that on just as like most of the entire farinata had cooked already, like probably cooked from the bottom to the top uh, three quarters before I added the tomatoes and flipped uh, because the tomatoes are really wet 
and it becomes very, very difficult uh, to cook this fine not to through once you start, once the uh, tomato liquid starts going into the batter. It just becomes really, really wet and it just kind of never cooks. So um, doing it this way, you get most of the interior cooked and then the top part, uh, it's a little bit easier uh, for everything to come together. All right, so I think it's just about time. Let, is, let us uh, check out this not to see how it came out. Heck yeah, man. Um, it's been a minute since I actually cooked this uh, recipe, even though I've cooked it a million times. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Let's look at this thing. What a beauty, right? Oh, man. I mean, arugula is, by the way, one of my all-time favorite greens, and anytime I can throw it on something, I do. And arugula, tomato, and the chickpea, this like Mediterranean vibe, this very, very summery Italian thing. It, it really hits the spot, I'm telling you. Um, I will say it's maybe just a hair under. It's that tomato thing I mentioned, like the tomatoes get really wet. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, I probably could have stood to let it cook for like another five minutes or so on high heat, but, but really it's, you know, I'm not too worried about it. It tastes, it tastes great. And it's, it's pretty solid and structurally sound throughout. Um, give this a shot. It's like I said, it's easy to make. You can just grab some chickpea flour at the store um, and then water, salt, olive oil. You probably have most of that stuff already. Um, and you don't have to throw anything on it if you don't want. Um, but if you got tomatoes, if you got zucchini, if you got onions, garlic, whatever you want to throw on there, it's, it's probably going to be good. So um, that's it for today. Thank you for coming, checking out the farinata di ceci con pomodori. And uh, we'll be back soon. Uh, hope you enjoy this Italian recipe. I'll talk to you next time. Bye now.